the intake pipe that extends into the canal. You can see it's kind of mucked up with algae and seaweed and stuff just been growing on there. And what I had been doing was going into the canal with a brush, scrubbing off the, the, the end part, the water intake, releasing the, the algae and the seaweed that's in there, and, it, and then it would work again. Now it's only working for two weeks. It's gotten pretty bad in the canal. I'll take a picture and show you. Uh, the piece had these little slits you can see up and down and those were clogging easily. So what I've done is made much bigger holes. They're half inch holes. Used a, a drill bit that looks like this. Uh, put them all the way around the piece. We're gonna cover it with a couple different versions of screen and we'll drop back in and it should work like a charm. Here are the parts we're gonna be using. I have a box of sprinkler parts. I'm sure every homeowner has one of those who maintains their own sprinklers a piece of leftover screen from a screened-in enclosure, which I took down last year. This is a cut to fit, you buy them at Home Depot, air filter made of this fiberglass material, and a screen that is used for stucco, just a leftover piece that I had here. We've cut a piece of the mesh screen and we're going to wrap this around the the holes. This will be the first layer to, or the last layer actually, because we're putting it on the inside. The other ones will go around this. And then we're gonna secure it with these exterior cable ties. Here's what it looks like after I secured the, the mesh screen, the bottom layer to the pipe. Just tied it with a few of these cable ties. I'm gonna add a few more one to secure it uh, to, to keep the larger holes out, and then a couple more just tying the ends together. Pretty simple, but it's holding, it's pretty tight. And the next layer I will add, secure it in a similar manner, and, uh, and then finally the regular screen on the outside. And we've cut the air filter screen down to size, and now we're going to wrap it around the mesh screen. We have now secured the air filter, the fiberglass air filter, to the intake valve using the cable ties. I had to double in a couple cases, triple them, especially in the middle because they weren't long enough. Not a big deal. It's leak proof uh, as long as these cable ties hold, which I expect they'll hold for a long time. And uh, the final layer of screen is coming up next. Now we've put the final screen on and uh, it was important to secure the ends at the narrowest spot because that's where any leaks are going to come through allowing stuff to get in but I don't think it's a problem. I think we have this thing pretty well covered. No leaks on the inside. Now I don't expect this to last forever but it sure as hell should last a bit longer than the last time I had to go in the canal and scrub off those those ridges which all right one more quick segment I just want to show you where this is going this is basically a float has air in it uh, it's used to keep the end from going too deep and breaking the pipe it kind of supports it works great it was here when I got here uh, that's where it's going that's why I'm having to go through all this that muck somehow reaches under the surface and uh, starts growing in the holes and uh, now all I got to do is connect the pipes, prime it, and run it, and it should work great. I'll show it to you one more time. Here it is in a little bit better light. You can see what it looks like. Don't worry about that dirt. We're going to wash it off in the canal as soon as we stick it in there. And there it is. All done. Ready to just dry it out, let it set for a bit, and then uh, prime the sprinklers and test it. Incidentally, you're probably wondering why I didn't put it more out into the middle. And the reason is there's boats coming through there and we're not allowed to, we're prevented, prohibited. And there we are.